So we first got involved with Women's Aid last year through a series of songwriting workshops. They were facilitated by our creative producer Kate Gelke and the feedback she received was so positive that when she suggested the idea of commissioning Ruth to write this anthem, we knew it was just the perfect way of amplifying the voices of the women who'd been involved and all women who have been victims of domestic abuse. So we had a series of meetings with the amazing team of Women's Aid, ABCLN, and Jonathan Samantz from the Ulster Orchestra. They've worked together on a number of projects over a number of years. It's such an important issue, particularly the statistics that the police are responding to an incident every 17 minutes at the moment. Um, and I know the numbers have risen since the start of lockdown last year. And on a personal level, having a young son to read that 90% of incidents that there are children either in the same room or in the next room. I just knew it was something we had to get involved in and the song has been the most amazing way of elevating the campaign. I held my tongue in seven years of silence White Ribbon um, is the name of the anthem that um, we have we've, we've put together over the last few months. Um, initially, whenever you know the word anthem was sort of said to me, I, I definitely had to do a little bit of research about you know different types of anthems because immediately I would have thought of you know sort of loud and rising, sort of emotional, um, and I didn't know if that felt right for the White Ribbon um, in in the few workshops that I did with with women. Um, in, in Women's Age, you know, the overall feeling was there was a real gen gentle, sort of, you know, beautiful, gentle feel that I wanted to keep and the vulnerability. Um, so then I realised, you know, an anthem, it, it's about the emotion. It's about connection. So if it can connect with, you know, all people, you know, it's not just for, for this campaign. It's not just for people that have experienced abuse in their lives. It's for everybody. I'm not known as a composer. It's only really in the last year through lockdown that I decided that I would take the take the time to actually explore that. So I was quite surprised when I was asked um, to, to you know to write the White Ribbon anthem. I had got to know Duke Special, uh, Peter Wilson, a little bit through uh, Queen's performance classes that we work alongside it. And I asked him, you know, would he do a few sessions with me about the kind of process and craft in a song. From that, you know, we, we got into co-writing the song. When I sat at the piano and tried to get the feeling and the emotion in like chords and different harmonies that felt right and felt good. But the lyrics were where we started to, um, Duke encouraged me to do some uh, stream of consciousness writing. Uh, we decided on, you know, what we would use to, to narrate the story. He had encouraged me again to have my own personal story told through the verses, and then that we could use the chorus and the pre-chorus as the real, um, I suppose, connection for what Women's Aid wanted for the White Ribbon Anthem. And, you know, the main message was hope and change. So yes, although I was able to use my own voice, it was it, it was speaking for everybody. There's a change in me, a flicker of the light. Words that once were hidden are building up inside. Wipe the shame from my eyes with a white ribbon. For a while.
singing a song, uh, it's very important to find a connection between the words, the lyric, the music, the feel of the song, and per making a personal connection with that. Whenever I heard the song for the first time, I had goosebumps. Um, and it was Ruth who actually sang it with me, so she sent through a, a rough demo version of it with her playing the piano. It's just beautiful, and uh, we got the chance to talk quite a lot before I actually performed it for the first time, which in hindsight I thought was very important because it gave me much more of an insight to what the song was about and what the lyrics were about. So having the opportunity to sing a new piece um, and kind of work alongside the lyricist and composer is phenomenal in comparison to singing the likes of an old standard or a song that's been written quite a long time ago. I think it's important to kind of understand every interpretation of the lyrics that you can to really, in the moment, get what you need from the song. With this opportunity with Ruth um, and Duke Special, uh, I was able to ask Ruth in particular exactly what she meant by each lyric. Um, and I know she had workshopped uh, with a lot of the women who have gone through these experiences. So I knew the lyrics were extremely important in this one. And she was able to give me a massive insight into it. My experience of singing this song um, has been wildly different from any song that I've really sang before that's been in a musical, i.e. written before, or from a back catalogue of an artist. Um, and that's because it's been written about people around me, about women around me. The experiences that are in the song may not necessarily be about me, but I definitely know a lot of people around me that may not have been in abusive relationships, but have definitely uh, experienced abusive behaviour. Whenever you read the lyrics, you can feel what these women are saying. These are their words, and that is completely different to not knowing someone's experience whenever they're writing a song. I felt a lot of responsibility learning and performing this anthem in particular. There are moments in your career as a performer that what you do is a lot heavier than other things, and this is one of them. I hope that this anthem has the ability to do what music does. I say I hope, I know it will have the ability uh, to do what music does, which is bring people together. Um, the overwhelming feeling that the song is has is of hope. Comes through. My main responsibility was to the woman in the workshops. 
this is everybody's issue. This is not just, you know, a female issue. People have told me that they sing along, that they, you know, thankfully the hook seems to have worked. But Women's Aid themselves would love lots of different organisations and groups and, you know, school choirs and different kind of bands to, to you know, do little recordings of the White Ribbon. I know that the White Ribbon Charter is signed at, you know, sporting events and they're hoping to play the White uh, the White Ribbon Anthem during those events and so the people get to know and get to, you know, sing songs and then eventually maybe really start to hear the words, you know, and as I said, just that it encourages awareness. So if, you know, if the White Ribbon Anthem allowed people to actually just, just open up, up about this, you know, and just to think, I suppose. Wipe the shame from my eyes with a white ribbon For a white ribbon believes me Wipe the pain from my eyes With a white ribbon Oh, the scars are visible The campaign itself, the White Ribbon campaign, is to never commit, condone or remain silent about violence against women and we were delighted that with even with the restrictions and everything that the orchestra were able to come together in the waterfront on International Women's Day and we recorded the whole thing with four of our associate artists singing alongside Jolene and we had an amazing event that evening to launch the entire thing. Through the whole process I have now become an ambassador for Women's Aid ABCLN and will be involved with the charity now going forward both on a personal and a professional level. We're delighted to have Tony McCrory who's the Women's Aid coordinator for the White Ribbon campaign joining us today and we're all going to be signing the White Ribbon Charter which is committing to the pledge essentially.